Hi, I'm back. Okay, this is part two of playing with pearls and pretty vintage jewelry. So on my last video, we did these right here. We cleaned all these up. So if you'd like to go back, they were very dingy dirty, you guys. And they cleaned up so nice. I really like them. Um, these are milk glass beads here and pearls and lucite. And I'm not a bead expert, so don't quote me on that, you guys. Um, I just kind of Googled. So I Googled how to clean these and they say to add the dish soap. You can use Dawn dish soap and also vinegar and vinegar really does clean these very nicely. So that is one set. This all came from eBay. All this set came together in that bag. That nasty bag was full of pretty stuff actually. And then this one, this is my favorite right here. These were really dirty, you guys. Oh my goodness. So we got that one and this one. We had a few duds that I put to the side. I picked the ones that looked the best and a few of the duds that, you know, they were falling apart basically. They went into the no good pile. So those could be used for the shakers and different things, you know, that you can make stuff with. This is for vintage jewelry stuff, making pretty vintage jewelry dangles and stuff like that. Okay, so this is all that one. So I'm going to put that aside and let me wipe up my table here. Alrighty, you guys, I got a phone call and Eddie and my daughter are on the way home. So let me get back to what I was showing you guys. I have over here my second order from eBay. This one was a little bit more fun to look at, I have to say. Let me move this here. So let's pour this into a dish. Let's see, maybe this one. Because this one here is just a lot, a lot, a lot of pieces. And I already saw some really cool pieces, you guys. You know, one thing I love is clip-on earrings because you can add them to anything. And, oops, some beads are going out of here. I guess my, my bowl is too small. So, this is what we have in here, you guys. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Okay. So... This is what we have in that bag. I'm going to move this one out of the way here so we can start on a new batch of stuff. Okay, so that's my clean water. I don't think a lot of this is going to need to be cleaned like that one. I'm going to move this in this bowl here. Lots of projects going to come out of this bowl right here. So I'll have to share with you guys if you want to see me playing with some of these beads. What I'm probably going to do is cut them apart and take them apart and put them in jars. So we'll see about that. I have my jars over here in case I had time to do that. Um, but I can always split these up into smaller videos so you don't have to sit here through every one for so long. Okay. So, as you can see, you guys, look at this. How yummy. Oh my goodness, look at this one. I was already trying to dissect how to do that one. Okay, so here's the vinegar water with soap. And I can see this one is a little dingy. So we're gonna throw that one in there. And this one's a little dirty. This one here is not too bad, but it's got a little scratchy on it. That one's cool. That one. This one. That one's broken, so we don't need to put that in there. Look at that big old pearl. Let's put that in there too. Oh, I saw a rhinestone. Okay, so this is what I'm talking about. You see these right here? This type of thing here. Um, this had a stone in it. But you could 
take the stones out of this piece because it's missing a stone there. And I love using baguettes too. Baguettes are so fun. So we could pop, um, might be able to take a tool and pop these out. But I'm not going to do that now because that's too long. All right. And then we have this pearl. Look at that one. Isn't that pretty? Even though it's missing the stones. But I'm thinking that I could even... Hold on. All right, ladies. I'm back. We were leaving off with some of the things I had put in here. I went and had dinner real quick. And then I came right back to my craft room. And oh my goodness, you guys, this is coming out really pretty. These look like nice quality pearls here. Look at that. Nice. All right, so let's see what these look like. They still need a little bit more. Can you see that? It's cleared up on the rest of it. Just that front part still needs some cleaning. So that will stay in there with the vinegar. And let's go on to these pieces over here that I was going to add. All right, so we have these. And these are on a string, but they come off, so that's good. I believe this was a really good find. I was so happy when I saw all the pearls, you guys. I love making dangles with pearls like this. This is the perfect dangle right here. Just one earring. And you can add like a few crystals or a charm to that, and you've got an instant dangle piece. So I'm gonna put that in there. This was what we were looking at earlier. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? It's missing a couple pearls right there. But it still looks kind of pretty there. Let me see something. Looks like it's missing one of the strands too. See right there? It's missing a strand of pearls. So those will just be beads. And there's another one of these. These tight fitting kind of pearls. Isn't that pretty? That one's pretty. I don't know what it is about these. When you have a big um, bigger wrist than like a seven, this is mine's a seven and a half or an eight. And look at it fits, but it looks is it supposed to look like that? I don't think so. I think it's supposed to be, you know, a little bit bigger. But anyway, those are some pretty pearls. So we'll put that in there. Let it soak. All right. And now I was looking at the, these earlier too. These pearls are really nice. They're knotted. These are the kind I like too because they are heavy. Alrighty. Just gonna keep spilling it over as we look. We'll see some cool stuff. Oh, look at this one. My mom has a lot of gold jewelry like this with the pearls. This is pretty. Look at this one. It's got an iridescent pearl in it. Oh, it's a clip, you guys. Look has a clip on it. We will go on and put that clip in there. There's another pearl. There's this one. This is a clip on too. Let's see. I like to clip it onto boxes. Let's see if I have a box I can clip it onto. Oh, that's cute. It's a lot. See the pearls though? They're messed up. You know what I was thinking it would be cool to alcohol ink these and, and uh, maybe paint them white or glitter them. I was thinking how cool would that be to glitter those pieces? Because that's a cute piece. It's just the pearls are coming off apart. All right. There's another one. Put that in there. This was the one that was from the earring. There's another one there. 
my um my hands are my nails are growing out but I need to get my nails done so bad before they break off again okay there's another earring lots of little tiny bits this is so fun to make altered clipboards and stuff oh look at that that's a screw back that's a pearl too that's so pretty I love that there's another one of these this one's gonna lose the pearls but I'm gonna put it in the water and clean it up anyways okay what else do we have here Ooh, what's this there's another earring let's see what this is oh is that a necklace I think this is all attached together here it's all stuck together I mean this has got some cool beads on it This is what I was looking at. This pearl. Yeah, this is a necklace. That's an earring with a clip. Fun. Ooh, I love that bead on there. Look at how old that is, you guys. That's some seed beads or some type of bead in there. See if I can get this off. There we go. That's so cute. All right, we'll put that in there. How fun! I'm already imagining all the projects I'm going to make with these pieces. This one's got a lot of, I don't know what that is in there. I'm going to put it in here and see what happens. All right. We got this earring here. That doesn't really need to be cleaned. Let's put that in there. <clears throat> That's missing a pearl. Here's some more pearls. These are pretty. I love that champagne brownish color. Let's do that. Okay, look at that one. Whoops. What is that, a clip on? Oh, is that a shoe clip? That's like a shoe clip, you guys. How fun. <clears throat> That's pretty cool. Those screw backs, I don't know how people wear those things. They're, they're really hard to wear. clip on earrings that one oh, this is a nice piece what is that that one's broken let's see what else we got here Ooh, look at that one that's really old these are all just like random earrings and stuff that need to be cleaned Pretty pearl. Hmm. That pearl wants to get away. Okay, let's see what else we got. Let's take some more out of here. One little mint green earring. I should do a series on taking all this stuff apart, but we'll see how that goes. That's a pretty one. I could attach that to something. It's missing two pearls, though. See the... I love the rhinestones, but here it's missing two, but I probably could put in some little stones or something there. Oh, 
those are cool. Oh, here's one of those kinds. I used to buy at the antique shops, not this particular one. I always go for the like the really ritzy looking rhinestones and um, has a lot of pearls on it. Those are my favorite kind. That's a pretty pearl right there. See that? It's got like a iridescent to it. Oh, this is a clip, you guys. Look. It's like a sweater thing. I think. Or is it a necklace? Oh, that was on it. Okay. That's a necklace. And this is... Um... What do you call those? Cufflink kind of things? Or pins? Yeah, this was a good little find. I also love pearls that have these round looks to them. Let's see if that one comes clear or not. Okay. See, that's pretty. It's a clip on too. Ooh, look at that one. That one's just straight up dirty. Okay. Ooh, look at this one you got. Oh, I've never seen one. Look at how tiny the rhinestones are in here. Now that is gorgeous. It has these little tiny rhinestone pieces. That's a pretty one too. It's missing a pearl. That probably would be easy to fix though. Alright, so pretty much this is a good batch of stuff. If you don't like gold though, this is not going to be your thing, but I don't mind gold mixed with silver. I love mixing the golds and silvers together. It makes it look more vintage when you add different tones of silver and gold and rose gold, stuff like that. That's a pretty pearl there. Okay, I'm back and I went to the kitchen. I dumped out the dirty water and drained everything, dried everything off, and now I'm here to show you the final results. So I ended up getting three of these leaf trays full, you guys. So I thought I would kind of show you some of the pieces. All right, I just have this little tray here. And what catches my eye is these pearls. So this one lost a lot of this was already losing a lot of the film on the pearls. So this might probably, I could glitter this up or do something with that maybe and add it to a box or something. So that one's that. And then here's another one. And there's so many little bits, you guys. Like this one cleaned up really good. And then these are just pieces of big earrings here. These are those big projects. If you have big projects that you want to create for maybe your craft room or something, these types of things would be great. Pearls, pearls, love pearls. Yeah. So lots of little bits, but they came out so pretty and sparkling. Let's see, does this match that? <laughs> Some more pearls. Here's those beads. Look at how nice and clean they are now. Love them. Some more chain. These are going to be so fun to cut apart and use. Look at how sparkly that one came out. Still a little bit wet. I like this one has the beads and the pearls. That's a good little piece to make right there. Just a few little seed beads and some pearls. 
and another one this is a cute little dangle here just circles and pearls let's see Ooh, that one's pretty it lost the finish on it but it still has all the rhinestones so oops so it lost the finish on this one but as you can see maybe I could cover over that with some gesso or something that would be cool yeah that lost the pearl that pearl went in here somewhere yeah so that's that one lots of little tiny bits of things I would love to make a collage with all these or a bunch of dangles that would be fun to use in my craft room all right so there's that one first they just look pretty in the bowl how pretty is that just sitting in a bowl over here so let's see um Take this here. Got a nice pile of beads over here now, right? Oh, sorry, just bumped the camera. Okay, so here's the next one. Ooh, that's pretty. That's a cool dangle. These are all gonna be dangles. That's just a big pearl. This is one of my favorites right here with the little rhinestones. Look at that. That came out really pretty, you guys. And that's a clip-on, so I can clip that to a box. And then there's this one. This one's losing its pearls, but look how pretty the pearls are. This one. This one lost its color, so... Eh, that one's okay. Not my favorite. That one's a pretty one. I could probably glue a pearl on there. Or I could try to remove the rhinestones. But all these baguettes right here. So I guess this is... That's got a rhinestone too. So the only one it's missing is right there. So I could add a flower or a little bead or something in there. Maybe a flower would be cute to add to that. Um, like a metal flower or... Um, a different shape to kind of go with this but not be yeah we'll have to play with that one that one's pretty and that one got this black stuff on my hand from that bead that one it's flicking the black stuff everywhere that one yeah so there's those has to be my favorite though, even though it's got miss this one and these are my favorites. I think it's because they're silver too. I like silver a lot. When it has silver in it. Because all my jewelry is silver. Okay, so there's that one. And then this is the last one, you guys. So there's that bracelet. Look how pretty the bracelet came out. Could totally wear that now. I, I put it on before, didn't I? But it's clean now. Okay. Yeah. There. So we've got all these like flat pearls. Cool. That's a nice dangle there. I would leave that on the the rhinestone piece. I would leave it all on and I would cut this part off and use it, glue it to a project. Ooh, that says Monet on it. Wait, oh, that's the earring. That's another earring there. Let's see. How fun. Lots and lots of fun 
things in there. Whoops, that's pretty too. I like that one. That one. Thought this was cool too. Comes out like that. The back of the earring. So you could pin that onto something. Hmm. Doesn't want to go back on now. That one. That one's really missing a lot of rhinestones, so I don't know about that. Wow, I really like these tubular looking beads here. Now that they're all cleaned up on that necklace. So there's that. One little mint. Um, earring there thrown in I guess okay and then I think that's it you guys oh I know what I wanted to do I wanted to cut this before the beads start falling off everywhere I don't think I have my cutters over here though Let's see what I got here. So we got all of this now. So I have these cute little mason jars. I want to paint the tops white or like an off-white color. And I like to keep my specialty beads in the little jars, the pretty glass jars, and then the other stuff I put in plastic. So this probably will get taken apart. Although it is pretty. Let's see. I'll put it on you guys. I don't think I'll wear it though. I don't think it's... Hmm. Not bad. It's a little tight though. So I think it's going to be better cut up. My personal opinion. Let's see what else I want to cut up here. Oh yeah, this one was kind of cool to cut up. This has got some pretty pearls in here. So let me see these milk glass ones. Here's more milk glass right here too. Okay, so... Let's see if I have anything over here. Ooh, these are pretty. So there's like a lot of pearls there. You see? See the amount of pearls I have that's there already? Okay. Um, let me just put this over here. And let me put this. Oh yes, we want to cut this up too. We want to cut this one up for sure. Let's see. These didn't get cleaned up, so I'm going to have to probably wash those again. The ones that are dirty won't go in the jar. Um, we can mix them all together now. Where's my towel? Wipe this out. There's an oddball peach one. Oops, this oddball peach one probably won't go anywhere because I don't use peach very much. Let's see if I can clean this off real quick. All right. Okay, so 
let's go with this one first because this one here needs to be taken apart that doesn't go there all these fell inside I guess all right let's start with this one well since I already um, pulled the string on it this is gonna be an easy one look you can just pull down and voila this is gonna make some pretty stick pins with that different shape that's fun the main thing when you make stick pins is you have to have different varieties of beads now these right here are not going in this pile Let's see these will go I think I'm gonna cut this okay there we go all but this little bit right here all the rest of them these will get washed How fun. Yeah, these are still dirty, so I'm not going to let those go. I am going to just, whoops, drop those in there and rewash those. And look at these tiny little beads right here, you guys. Teeny tiny little beads. All right, so now we're just going to separate these different um, shaped beads here. I still have a lot more jewelry to go through. This is going to be hours and hours of doing it. So I just took a little break from working on the kits so I could take some of these beads apart so I hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with me and seeing all these fun little beads and stuff fun they look so pretty in there these came from Dollar Tree you guys two for a dollar I wish I could get those again little miniature mason jars so cute 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 okay all right let's do another one so I think I'm just gonna put these little guys in here Now, I started something fun and new. Well, it started with Dollar Tree, and then I realized I wanted more, so I went and bought some more um, glass jar holder things. Glass, I don't know, glass vials. They sell them at Dollar Tree, but I got these. Got these here. This is just an old, um, an old box that I'm keeping the vintage uh, seed beads in from wedding dresses and some pretty vintage pearls and so they fit perfectly in this box so I can fit six on the top six on the bottom here and this is um, a Neiman Marcus box I can't even get it in the camera you guys but anyway it, it held spoons. It was some Christmas spoons in here. And I made it into a little bead box for specialty beads and stuff. And then here's some little metal roses. So I'm thinking things that are like smaller bits 
can have their own little container. There's going to be more of these little smaller bits, I think. Um, and this little jar here will hold maybe the medium size too. But you see how tiny they are? <laughs> They're so little. I almost need my my mom's vintage spoon. Let's see if I can grab that. This is my mom's baby spoon. Isn't it cute? I have it on display in my craft area. And I just thought I would try to see if it would work to get them in there. Come on. They're a little wet, so they're not wanting to cooperate too much. these little ones here. I almost can't see them. They're so little. <laughs> wow. They're so tiny. Okay. So they just have this little metal lid, which I want to paint too. I like white lids. Silver is okay, but I just, I like white lids. So we got these so far and these done. Let's see what else we got here. I think I might have some smaller beads that I could put in my box and in the little jars. Let's see if these come apart. Oh goodness. You guys, these are going to be hard. You know why? Look, you have to cut each one of these off. And I'm not going to make you watch me do that. I'm trying to pull on them, see if they come off. If they don't come off, then that's it. Yeah, they didn't come off. So, let's see. Oops. Some of them are coming off. The rest of these are in here good. Okay, here's another one. These are going to come off. Let's cut it. Nope. They're not coming off either. So these are the ones with the knots on them. Oops. Sorry about that, you guys. It's loud. Okay, so we got a few of them off of here. These are like really heavy, heavy, heavy. Okay, I'm going to put these back over here. Let's see what else we have we can play with here. I think I'm going to... Hmm. I don't want to use my scissors on that, you guys. Let's see if I got my cutters over here. I don't think I do. Hmm. Let me grab my cutters. I'll be right back. So this can probably go in this jar with these, even though they're cream. I like to mix them up. So I'm going to make like a little mix in there. Yeah, that's going to be good. And then this I will have go in here. So it doesn't have a lot to go with it. We'll just put it in there for now. This is the fun part after you clean everything and you start playing with your beads and imagining what you're going to make with it. That's the fun part. Okay. Okay, so let's just put them all in here now.
Hmm. Nice little mix there. So these are all round ones in here, see? Cream and white. So those will be fun. All right, that one's done. So now you have a nice mix of cream and white in there. Almost the same type of bead, only a cream and white. Then, let's see, let me dump this over here. A few beads that fell. Okay. All right, let's see. I want to do this one here. This one here is so pretty. Oh my gosh, I love these. Let's cut this. Now let's see, do I have different sizes? Because that's what you want to do, is you want to make sure when you cut these, All mixed okay mostly medium beads the large ones aren't so that's how it looks until I cut this again strand. Let's see. We're going to keep these little beads right here. This right here is going to go somewhere. Do this here. And then we'll have to cut the string off. I'll do that later. Okay, oh, this looks so fun and yummy. Love this. Okay, there's that. Now you can um, save these and use these for dangles because it has a little hole right here. So you could make a little charm out of that. Out of that right there. So I'm going to leave that string on there too, because I could bead some stuff on it. Alright, so we got another jar here, and I think I'm going to have two separate jars it looks like. One for the big ones first. So we have medium and small, you see that? How fun. Okay, so I think I'm going to put the large ones in here, or medium ones, not large ones. They're easier to find if you go for the big and then the little. You see? Now yeah, there's not that many to go to separate, I mean. The rest are all smaller than the ones I just put in there. Yep. That's pretty cool. Okay, so now we have that one done. This is an accomplishment, you guys, because I've been wanting to wash these um, necklaces to use them, and now I got them all done. 
so there's those there. <clears throat> now this here and this is the ones I didn't take apart. Okay, and then these, that's an earring stuck in there. Ooh, lots of stuff in here. That's a pretty one. Okay, are these gonna come? Oh, these are gonna come apart too, you guys. Got some rust on my hand there. Let's see if these come off of here. Oh yeah. These are glass pearls too, guys. Let's see. Hold on a second. Turn it this way. I don't know what it is. Something about cleaning jewelry and then cutting it up. So fun. Let's see if I can get in there. We got different sizes here, too. Again, looks like three different sizes, I think. Not a lot of the big ones, but these are fun, too. The little ones. These are still a little bit wet. That's why they keep getting on my hands. <clears throat> Towel is soaking wet now. Okay. All right, and these, these right here are all the strings. Those right here are knotted, so you're going to have to take the time to do those. Okay. All right, let's finish this. And get the string off of this one. Okay. This one's going to have one of these. One of these containers. You don't have a lot of the bigger sizes here. Those are really hard to pick up with this spoon. I'm trying to just get ones. They're easier to pick up with my fingers. I also make these up with other um, beads. Let's see if I have any over here. I have this other jewelry box here too that I started playing with. Yeah. Let's see, I have this box here. I am um, collect vintage jewelry boxes as well. I have a lot of these types of boxes. Um, anyway, so I started putting these inside this box too. So I have over here these type of mixes. Fun, right? And this one. So this is more yellows. And so when I get colors that I'm not sure I'm going to use, I just put them in those vials, these little glass jars, and make like little mixes for projects. Um, let's see, there's a couple more smaller. Most of these are all almost done. You know what I think? I might be able to fit all of it in here. Let's 
see. This is for tiny things, you guys. But look at how much it's holding. It's taking up quite a lot in here. we're gonna make it how fun because the majority of them are the same size and then the bigger ones are on the bottom I don't know the millimeters of these because I'm not good with that, that size thing but this holds a lot probably like a hundred pearls in here And these are good, like, um, I save pearls off of wedding dresses and all kind of stuff. Because you can use these in so many projects. And you can make a lot of bean dangles with these pearls. Add a couple spacer beads in between and you got a cute little dangle. There we go. Cute. Now these are Dollar Tree right here. They're smaller than these. And, um, I think I got these on eBay, the bigger ones. And the smaller ones are from Dollar Tree. I think the ones from Dollar Tree you get, the glass is a little lighter weight. These are heavier. I don't know if you can tell the difference, but this more feels plasticky. Can this feels plastic compared to this one. So anyway, cute. All right. So I think I'm going to go through this one more and then I will call it a night, you guys, because this is going to be a two-parter video and I'm sure you've seen enough already. Okay, so let's do this over here. Let's cut this. Now this one here has got a lot of beads on it. I gotta find a spot where I can cut it. There's a lot of seed beads, see that? There's seed beads everywhere. Um, let me do here. Try to go between the pearls, there we go. More pearls, yes, love it. Okay, let's see here how this is gonna go. Oh, see those beads right there? They're white underneath and painted gold and painted black. So I won't be using those, I'll only be using the pearls. And possibly the seed beads. There's a lot of seed beads, so that could do a lot of projects. I always like this part where they have the beading on the end. They've already got the um, pieces put together for you. I guess I'm going to have to cut both of them. Fun. Look at all those different pearls. <laughs> I hope the, I hope it's not too loud, you guys. <laughs> I may have to mute this. It's making too much noise. Try to do it as easy without making a lot of noise, but almost impossible. 
not to make noise. Interesting too, the pearls are different. Like you got a shiny pearl and you got a flat pearl there. This is a very interesting piece. See here if this is gonna come out. Yep. There we go. Fun. This is a pearl bead soup over here, you guys. <laughs> so many pretty pearls. Okay. All right, let's take the black out. They're like, these are made of like a ceramic or something. Oh, I gotta cut that. Those are going in the junk pile. We'll be using those. Still got this junk pile bag over here that I can dump them in. Only keeping the good stuff. But there's still lots of good stuff here. Let's see here. My arm's getting tired. <laughs> oh. Hours and hours of playing with beads, you guys. Um, and I love buying those boxes that have all the dividers in them that you can put beads into, which is the wooden ones. I like to look, whoops, I like to look for the wooden ones because they're easy to um, play with your beads. I also use muffin tins. I have a lot of muffin tins over here too. I usually use muffin tins to sort the beads and then um, I'll also use the condiment cups to put them in. Isn't that yummy, you guys? So fun. All right, so let me grab all these out of here and then we can start separating. Okay, so as you can see now, there's like several styles in here. There's like Oops, there's like milk glass mixed in, these little metal, or not metal, these um, ceramic, they're like a ceramic bead. And then here's the flat one and the shiny one. Yeah. Which gives it a really nice look. I love how that looks. Um, let's see. And you know what? There's not that many in here, so I think I'm going to just put all these in here. I'll leave the seed beads in there if they fall in there. It's okay. I won't hurt them. Oops. Boy, that was loud. And then you got this piece I still got to take apart, too. That works out pretty good, though. I think there's about five different sizes total on this necklace. Oops, there goes a bead on the floor. <laughs> Actually, it fell in the drawer over here. Alrighty. I know I said I was going to wrap it up, and then I cut this last one up here. And this one here was... Took a little while. I don't know why I'm holding the spoon in my hand here. Okay, so there's that. So pretty. Okay, and then I'm going to dump these in this bag over here. I don't want those. Okay. So let's put the lid on this back in there. This one goes back. And I'll switch these out 
as I keep filling them up, I'll switch them out with different stuff. So, let me show you all the pearls we did today. We did those. We did those. These go in the other jar. Set that back. Move this down here. And we did these. These. And those. Fun. So fun. And those. And these. So, that is it for today, you guys. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel and hanging out with me, doing some crafty stuff. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you like this video, let me know if you want to see more videos like this. Um, and I will be back very soon with another video. All right. Bye, everyone.